I wrote an article a couple of months ago called Which Coffee Asshole Are You? <laughs> and what what happens is is basically we're all defined as one in some in some way. You know, we either the coffee snobs or we're or uh, you know we, don't, we refuse to drink Tim Hortons or or Starbucks. Are yeah. you finding? Are you finding that? Do you have a classification of coffee asshole now? Have you have you moved into a zone of like okay, listen, I can't go there, or you'll go into a brand new cafe and go, wait a minute, you're not doing it right. <laughs> I, I like to think of myself as extremely open when it comes to coffee. Like I can accept that there are different styles of coffee, different ways of making it. Kind of like you can't you can't compare red wine and white wine together, and you can't compare a glass of red wine to a glass of milk. You know, they're totally different things. So I think that there's a whole spectrum of coffees, and just because like I might like one a little bit better than another doesn't mean that the other one is total like crap. But it does. The one thing, or there are a couple things that I that I just can't stand. Like one of them is I do not like drinking my espresso out of a paper cup. I really like my espresso out of a real espresso cup, like a, a porcelain cup. So no paper, please and thank you. And then the other thing that I really don't like is if I'm going for like an Americano or something, I really don't like when they add the, um, the water to the espresso shot um, just by letting it flow through uh, the the coffee ground that the, they've pulled the espresso shot with, like you have to pull the espresso shot and then add clean hot water because it tastes horrible. And actually, um, one kind of cool experiment for your listeners to to do is if you pull espresso shots at home, just like take it like maybe like five or six little mugs and taste it as it comes out. So taste the first few drops and then like quickly put another mug out. Uh, underneath and then ca capture like the next section that comes through and just keep capturing um, the, the flow of espresso that comes through but like in separate mugs and taste the difference. If you taste like the last bit when the water that comes through is like just kind of like orangish and it's not opaque anymore, oh, it just tastes terrible and you don't want that in your espresso to make your Americano. You're just, you're so much better off just having pure clean water and then you have the beautiful flavor of the nice amazing espresso and it's just the pleasure is prolonged with the, the hot clean water <laughs> well i think that you should probably consider opening up a cafe when you stop cycling which i don't think you're ever going to do because you're busy 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 running around everywhere thanks for stopping by friends to the brenton on tour podcast channel on youtube coffee music travel life all of those things one page lots of guests lots of chatter we talk about all of it if you like it subscribe hit the thumbs up button leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Thanks friends. See you next time.